Late in the 19th century, it was becoming apparent that the universe was vast. The distances to even the closest stars were far greater than anyone had realized. These distances required a new unit of measurement. The meter and kilometer were adequate for measuring distances on Earth, but even a close object like the Sun is an incredible 150 million kilometers from Earth. A new standard of length for measuring celestial distances was needed. Very early in the 20th century, an important new standard of length was defined. This was the astronomical unit, or AU. One astronomical unit is the average distance from the Earth to the Sun. This definition has recently undergone some refinement, but the value, this one, remains close to the average distance from the Earth to the Sun. This number rounds to 150 million kilometers, easier to remember. This table shows the average distance from the Sun of each planet as measured in astronomical units. Mercury is the closest at 0.387, Earth of course is 1, and Neptune is furthest out at 30.1 AUs. It orbits at over 30 times the Sun-Earth distance. The astronomical unit remains an important standard widely used by astronomers. Here is another unit of length used in astronomy. You may be familiar with it, the light year. This elegantly simple unit is the distance that light travels through space in one year. Light streams through the vacuum of space at the incredible speed of 300,000 kilometers per second. A light year is the distance traveled at that speed in one year. I'll leave it to you to calculate how many kilometers there are in one light year. The light year is a useful unit for measuring distances to stars and other deep space objects. Sirius, a star close to us, is nine light years from Earth. It takes light nine years to travel from Sirius to Earth. The distance to the North Star, Polaris, is estimated to be 434 light years. This means it takes light 434 years to travel from Polaris to Earth. Some deep space objects are incredible distances from us. The Andromeda Galaxy M31 sits in space 2.5 million light years from Earth. An interesting consequence of these large distances is that we look back in time when viewing objects in space. Find M31 in your binoculars and you are looking back in time. You are seeing M31 as it was 2.5 million years ago, not as it is now. This, of course, is because light carries that image to your eye, and it has taken 2.5 million years to complete the journey. View our video Find a Galaxy for instructions on locating the Andromeda Galaxy. A third unit of length commonly used by astronomers is the parsec. We'll use some basic geometry to determine this unit. We have defined the average distance from the Earth to the Sun as an astronomical unit. If we create a triangle with one astronomical unit as the base, and one side extended at right angles to create a triangle with an angle at P of one arc second, the distance from S to P is one parsec. The actual triangle would look much different than this. It would be a very long, very skinny triangle. A parsec is equivalent to 3.26 light years. A distance of 1 million parsecs is called a megaparsec, MPC. This unit is used to measure the vast distances between galaxies. The parsec plays a role in determining the distance to stars using parallax, the apparent stellar motion that arises due to the Earth's orbit around the Sun. Knowledge of these three units, the astronomical unit, light year and parsec, is essential for anyone interested in astronomy. We have more space-related videos and projects at our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the projects link.